Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chat with Cat. Thank you so much for joining me and allowing me into your space while I talk my shit and just say what I want to say. Today is no different. I decided to make this a topic on how I feel porn has changed me throughout the years. I have been thinking about this for a little bit and I just decided tonight was the night that I was just going to turn the camera on and just talk, talk, talk. And this isn't going to be in like a set order or anything like that. I'm literally just going to speak as the ideas just come into my head. I'm hoping that this video won't be super long. There's so much that I want to say, but honestly, you know, we're just going to do our best and hopefully this doesn't turn into like 45 minutes. Um, and yeah, by the way, I tried so hard. I just wanted to say I tried so hard to do a review on the Bad Bunny album. Guys, YouTube took it down instantly. I tried appealing it. I don't know how to get around that. I see so many people who do reviews on various pieces of work. So I don't know what the secret is, what the deal is. I would have loved and I worked so hard on almost an hour long YouTube video. Not critiquing that, but just talking about the album. You know, it was like a great time. And when they took it down, I just felt defeated. So if anybody knows how to get around that or what I can do, because please let me know because I already tried appealing it. It didn't work. I could try to take the sound out, but I don't even know if it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Oh, and yeah, Ravens flock. We won a very important game today that people didn't think we were going to win. I love you, Detroit, but today was ours. Anyway, so let me get into the discussion, shall we? Mm. Some water for the cotton mouth that I always seem to have. So... Like I said before, um, it's going to be all out of order and just going to go based on how I feel. So let's get right into the topic. I definitely feel like porn has changed how I view relationships. Now, before coming into this industry, I didn't know much about non-monogamy. I didn't know much about open relationships, polyamory anything right i i just only knew like bits and pieces and from people in you know um my friend circle and stuff like that um but i didn't know about it personally and i have been finding out so much information just by being in this industry because i don't know if i would have been as curious and as understanding and open than if i didn't work in this field you know what i mean i probably could have been open to discussions about it but it hits a little bit harder when you're in the industry and you see all these couples and you're kind of like thinking to yourself, well, would that work for me? I want to find out more information first and foremost. So it's basically allowed me to delve deeper and do my own research. Like I've been, I've read books. I listen to podcasts. I follow all of these people on different social media platforms who you know, they they educate me because I don't know everything and I'm still finding out so much. So it's just, it's very cool. It's, it's awesome to be able to learn about that there's just so many different types of relationships and a lot of things that I learned, it was just not healthy and it was toxic. And I'm just like, we're in the year 2023. I can live my life the way I fucking want to clearly. And I can have the type of relationships with whoever I please. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just been... It's been very rewarding and being able to have discussions with couples who are actually in it. You know, it's not just people you're watching on TV that you may never get a chance to speak to. Like, it's been, yeah, it's been very refreshing. So I'm always willing to learn. Um, and yeah, I just want to soak up as much as I can. And then, you know, so I can decipher like what is going to work best for my personal life. And it's also just taught me to be more open and not judge non-judgmental of people and that's the one thing i will say that porn has changed me in a positive way and not that i was ever a judge a judgmental person um but which is learning about different lifestyles and just being around all different kinds of people it's really taught me to you really one can never judge a book by its cover you really have to get to know somebody to know who they truly are and you know sometimes lo looks can definitely be deceiving you may look at someone and think that they are so intimidating and then they turn out to be the sweetest person ever or vice versa and i think that comes with people skills and just working in different industries and not just this industry but 
this industry it's obviously a lot more personable like we're seeing each other naked we're doing each things to each other in a sexual manner so it's just very intimate very close very personal so that's how i'll say it's different um but yeah so you know aside from me teaching teaching me how to just be i definitely feel like a more solid all-around better person because i feel like when you can let go of even your own inner like beliefs that maybe weren't the best way of thinking if you can at least get yourself to start thinking another way and ju it's just so much more freeing and knowing that there are so many people out there that you can turn to that you you know you're just never alone and that yeah i think that that just creates a more pathway to love to loving yourself and then in turn being able to use that to love other people i'm telling you like i am the most non-judgmental person there is not anything anybody could tell me that's going to just dis really disgust me or be like oh my god you're a vile despicable person because i understand like life happens and at the end of the day we wouldn't want to get judged you know especially if something's happened in the past and we are making amends to be better from that you know what i'm saying um so yeah but all of that does not come overnight it's definitely taken me some time and then even <laughs> throughout my own personal endeavors with people you know what i'm saying so that's always a work in progress but at least i can say i am a better person by getting to know all of these different people and these different types of relationships and yeah i'm, I'm definitely grateful for that there are a lot of things that i <laughs> I will speak on that's more of in a negative tone. So I guess I'm I guess I'm starting off with something positive, right? I will also definitely say that being in this industry has caused me to open up more about my own sexuality and on my about my, on my sexual health as well. I have found out so many things about sexually transmitted disease and infections rather and just sex and psychology like there's just so much that i've learned about sex in the human body sex in the mental um and it's literally just it's opened the pathway because there were things that i didn't necessarily think about things that i didn't even know about and then i heard about it and i was like well let me do my own research let me find out and then i go down a rabbit hole but it's a good thing because i you know i wouldn't be myself i wouldn't be you know the person that i stand for the i stand for women's rights and feminisms and owning your sexuality and loving your pussy and all that shit um if i like didn't do my due diligence and my own research into how my body works you know like what and more on a spiritual level is like what am i really finding pleasure from and just more than the touching and all that like where am, am i mental are all of these feelings coming from like what are the things that I want more of and what are the things I can do without and I feel like for someone who I wasn't so in tune with my body before and that's something that I feel like a lot of people aren't so don't blame yourself don't shame yourself if you're not because I was there too in fact sometimes even to this day it's hard for me to really tune out the noises around me and focus on what's going on in the here and now and really be into my body talk to myself how am i feeling am i am i getting a tingling sensation am i getting memories from something just really being in tune um it's hard to do especially when you have a million tabs open in your brain and that's how i feel but nevertheless i feel like me being like i said just more in tune we're talking about sex right so on a sexual matter it's it's opened the pathways for me in ways that i again that i can't say that i would have learned had i not been in this type of work so i'm extremely grateful for that like i said i've just found out so much about the human body and um our sexual like i've I found out so much about sexual orientation just there's just so much and I'm, I'm just grateful for it because like I said before, I'm nothing if I don't continue to learn. And I feel so much more empowered being a person, being a woman, being a Latina, and just, just owning my sexuality, who I am, who I like, what I like to do. And, you know, I do everything as safe as possible. So I just, I really, oh, I earn that and I own it, you know, and, and 
that's really a goal that I would have for not just myself, but for anybody is to just be unapologetically yourself. I don't give a damn if you do sex work or not, but if we're talking about sex work and porn, that that I feel like is just that's how that's what keeps you going honestly and it keeps you from tuning out all the drama and all the noise that may be in the background is coming back to yourself right so yeah I would say all of those good things you know I'm always learning something um now I guess if we can like I said I'm just going all around right let me get some more water for the cotton mouth or just because water is good for you you need to hydrate yourself that's beyond sex work and porn hmm. Hmm. although i would say please stay hydrated i don't care man or woman i don't care what you identify i don't care okay just stay hydrated it makes for better sex you'll thank me later so now <sighs> how else has porn changed me so with me learning, you know, about different types of relationships, I would also say that I've seen and experienced some dark shit. Now, would I have experienced these things had I not been in porn? I mean, so if we're talking about like actual situations, I've, I've found myself in scenarios that, of course, I would never want to be in again because... I don't know if anybody is really aware, but not everything is what it's cracked out to be to what, what it seems to be. You see, you guys see the finished products, you see the production, but you have no idea what went on behind closed doors. You have no idea if everything went as smoothly as it may have seemed. Like there's just there's just a lot of ways you could put content out and it may you may never know, right? And I feel like it's our job as the creators when we're putting our stuff out on Twitter, social media, whatever, that we don't let the fans know of our drama, of what's going on, because it's really no, none of anybody's business. But then we do have the issue that there are predators and bad people in this industry and fortunately the only well the only way that this information gets spread around is through word of mouth it's kind of hard to put certain things on the internet especially when you get lawyers involved so it's kind of like a lot of things in this industry especially for women is it's a uh, double-sided right and it's usually not fair to us we for the most part try to keep each other safe try to you know look out for one another but it is hard to do that and that is something that i i really don't like about my job that i wish somehow some way that we can get together and fix it but and i have hope that we can it's just going to take some time because again we don't have a human resources department when shit goes south right so anyway i will say so back back to my point on, on relationships and porn is that for okay so i mean i've talked about this before that for the obvious reasons that a lot of men cis men do not want to date women who are in this industry and that has been difficult i won't even lie there are many times i'm like okay like fuck it it is what it is and then there are times when i'm like damn like should i quit this job but then i quickly think to myself i said girl it doesn't even matter if you fucking quit because you could go start selling insurance tomorrow everybody's still gonna know you as spanish barbie even if it's years down the road like there's no getting away from the brand the title that you gave yourself you know what i'm saying so that just seems kind of silly and then it goes back to my whole point is like should you quit your job to be in a relationship with someone is like how badly do you want that you know and then does that even make sense so it's just it's not fucking easy i will be the first one to say that you know being single while well, it's very rewarding and i love being by myself and i value that so much do i want to stay single forever hell no i do not and like i've always said i don't know what the future holds for me but I just know for right now I'm extremely focused and you know it's one of those things like if so someone comes along they're gonna know that this is what I do obviously and 
if they're gonna want to stick around then hey have a seat if not i can totally understand why this doesn't work for you but yeah i mean clearly porn has changed how i see relationships for me personally it it, it it sucks like if everyone's saying the dating pool is like this it's even it's even smaller for sex workers it's like this you know it's just it's very difficult so and it's also changed how i view men i mean i'm not gonna lie to you guys like this is what i do for a living i get money from mostly men so and and just beyond that just for me experiencing everything in this job and talking to all different kinds and i'm going to say mostly men because most of the people i talk to are men so that's why and just with all of that combined and from friends experiences from stuff that i've seen i'm just like oh my god i have completely completely changed my view on men because of me doing porn and some people will understand it completely and some people will not. I am still surprised to this day that I have men who will try to contact me and want me to be their girlfriend and there's no money up front, nothing like that. Like they just want to hang out with me. There's other men that strictly want to make contact with me. I don't even know who the fuck you are. I am, I'm just, I'm amazed. I am amazed that people think that they have access to, um, popular stars that they watch and they nut to on their phones every night I, I don't know where it's coming from besides all that i could do a whole fucking video and breaking men down and based off of my experiences alone okay like i'm not gonna say that all y'all are the bottom of the barrel but i have seen and witnessed some crazy fucking shit that you really could not blame me for you couldn't honestly and I also just hate how, especially for women, porn stars, we're looked down as the bottom of the barrel, but y'all love jerking off to us. Y'all love talking to us. Y'all love seeing us pop up on your timeline. So I, <laughs> I can understand that there's obvious trauma and hatred of women and all kinds of other shit you have going on that leads you to believe this way and listen i understand society has not fucking helped y'all not one bit but at some point at some fucking point just like everything else in life you have to grow up and realize certain shit you learned was dead ass wrong y'all should not be treating women like fucking objects and treating us however the fuck you think that you can treat us and that we're not going to say anything back and you try to come back with your little stupid slick remarks as if like we actually disrespected in the first place we did not sir as far as i'm concerned for our fans we provide you guys with a service and like i said before sometimes you don't even know <laughs> what it entails and what took place so that y'all can have this beautiful porn that you can nut to all the fucking time. There's plenty of work hazards, just like there's work hazards in your job, you know what I mean? Except for some of the work hazards in our job can cause us to never work and to have complications because of STIs and there's just a list of fucking things, you know what I'm saying? So again, shit is not always what it seems to be. I have I always get emails and messages from all these men especially asking me a woman how to get into the industry and i'm just like do you want me to break it down how hard this is and how it's probably nothing nothing at all how you think i made videos on that too so i'm not gonna get into all of that but mm, mm, mm. so it's like for me it is hard to make relationships or friendships with men when is there money involved in this you know what i'm saying and for a partner it's like are you gonna be on my side business wise like what are we doing here you know i'm 31 years old i don't have time for games and i especially don't have time for games with what i do like like i said before if this is something you can't handle then you can leave you know what i'm saying and then there's just a bunch of guys who are just in the middle that i'm not attracted to 
and you're not gonna spend money on me or whatever so then what the fuck are we doing here like i'm just being completely honest you know how i am i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything but i'm here to just talk my shit like i said in the very fucking beginning Whew, oh my god so aside from traumas and all that shit well let's okay you know what let's delve a little bit deeper into traumas and how porn has changed me porn has also forced me to delve deeper into myself and to all of my past issues and experiences experiences that were not so pretty you know what i'm saying um i can't say if i was doing something else that i would spend as much time even thinking about any of this shit thinking about shit that happened you know years and years ago when i was a teenager or teenage teenager or teenager or you know just even something that happened a few years ago that i kind of maybe just brushed off to the side and didn't think it was a big deal and then something else came back up and then it re made me realize hey maybe that was a bigger deal and i wasn't dealing with i didn't deal with that in the proper way and now it's coming back up because that's how this shit works so while there have been plenty of dark times when i'll say it i've been sexually harassed or assaulted somewhere doing a scene or within the industry like somewhere within the work related environment right um and it brought me back to a time when it happened to me years ago, you know? And it brings back all those icky, familiar, but just not pleasant feelings that I don't want to sit with, right? It brings it all back for me. And um, yeah, and now I'm like, well, I'm older now, I'm wiser, so how am I going to deal with this? Am I going to deal with it the same way I did 10 years ago, 5 years ago? Or am I going to look at this now with a fresh set of eyes because i have learned a lot you know what i'm saying and so what is the point of learning something if you're not going to apply it but guys it's it's been a fucking journey okay I, it's all i can say is that like it's been good and bad i've met so many awesome people doing this job of mine and uh, that i probably would have never met at, like anywhere else you know what i'm saying and i have been introduced to so many new things, new lifestyles, new ways of thinking that I could never ever like, I could never be more grateful for, you know what I'm saying? So the best that I can do is to try to give back as much as and as best as I can. So, but of course, along with that, I've learned some valuable fucking lessons. I've met some terrible people <laughs> who I wish well. Um, but you know, that's life. And it just, the only thing that just sucks with our line of work is it's very personal. And um, it could be a lot for some people, you know, so for some people, they just fucked the wrong person and they feel disgusting for weeks. So imagine it's been like multiple people or a, a production company or some shit like that. Like it could be very deep. But again, I do feel like with being in this industry, you already have a have to have a tough layer of skin and you just add on to the layers as shit happens as experience as you gain these new experiences good and bad you know what i'm saying like i would say for sure for sure you definitely need to be a strong mental person to be in this industry if you are going to survive <laughs> um but yeah i don't want to continue to make this video any more longer than it has to be i probably could keep talking more and more i'm just trying to think if there's any other points that i really wanted to make other than i mean i just learned to deal with all different kinds of people i'll tell you that right now <laughs> porn definitely teaches you that it teaches you how to network it teaches you how to be nice to people that you maybe can't fucking stand but you gotta do what you gotta do because there's people around you and, you know, you have a brand to uphold and you are your brand. So you got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, this, that is what it is. So porn is a very cutthroat industry. But at the same time, you will find some really awesome people. Like I said, some of the most awesome people I've met in my entire life. And what can I say? I've, I've made, so, I've done so much shit. I've experienced so much. I've been to so many different places because of porn. And I mean, I'm able to live my life the way that I want and be as free as I want and do things with my family and and all that. And 
I don't know if I can really do that. If I was <laughs> definitely not with any of the jobs I had before this, you know? So while there's things that I could definitely say I learned lessons from, there are plenty of things that I'm grateful for. And all in all, I would say that it's been a humbling experience. That is for damn sure. So has porn changed me? Without a fucking doubt, it has changed me. I think if you are really passionate about something enough and you've been doing it for as long as I have and you will continue to be in the industry in some way, shape, or form for a while, like, of course it's going to change you. Change you for good and for bad. It's going to be a mix of both. I'm hoping that it's always going to be more good than bad because then if not, it just wouldn't make sense. But this is just my story, you know, and I'm here to share my story with you guys, the raw, the real, the truth. So thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. I love you so much. And let's just see what the hell I come up with next, right? <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care.